Hello and welcome to this new EasyRed2 modding SDK tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to set up a custom plane. So for this tutorial we are going to use the plane model we have in our example folder. And here it is. As you can see the materials are already set up. In your case you might want to set up your materials and your textures first. After that's done, you can right click on it and choose easier to mods, vehicles, planes, plane template. So let's start by taking a look on what this template created for us. So first we got my plane root game object that you can rename with the name of your plane. Here we got a bunch of scripts. For example, take a look on how we got some box colliders. Notice how those box colliders are only on this center part of the plane. And the reason for that is because normally planes are expected to have tails and wings as separate objects so they can be destroyed and cut off. So basically those are gonna have their own colliders which we are gonna set up in a second. But first let's finalize the center part and the cabin in particular. So on the plane we got this vehicle plane script where we got all the defined seats for this template we defined only one seat and it's disabled as you can see. That's because this plane doesn't have a cabin inside, so we don't want to render our soldier. But if you have a cabin, you can of course enable this and set the animator ID you prefer from the string table documentation. You can of course copy this item and add more seats, then make sure of course to register them as new seats here. On this very component you can set up other kind of properties such as the third person camera distance, the rotation speed, the max speed, the sounds and very similar parameters to what you will find in other kind of vehicles but you also got a few extra parameters like the total lift velocity which is the velocity your plane will need to start be lifting, the max control speed, the speed to reach the max thrust and a bunch of other stuff. As always you also got the internal parts so you can place where your full tank, your gears which is the general integrity of the plane and the engine are located. So now let's move on and let's start configuring the wings and the tail. So as I was saying before we should make these parts to be detachable when they got damaged or when the plane collides touching something with those parts. So let's start by the tail. Planes can of course have more than one tail, like the P38 lighting. In this case we only have one tail though, so right click on our tail and choose easier to mods, vehicle, planes, make the detachable part tail so here now we got a collider and a vehicle detachable part script also our tail got registered in our detachable tails array back to the tail object we must first resize our box collider remember this is the collision for the tail touching the ground and the bullets touching the tail so you might want to make a position that resemble your tail object as much as possible you can of course add more colliders here So this is close enough to what our tail is.
we can move on and do the same now with the wings so we can select our wing right click on it and choose easier to mods vehicle plane detachable part left wing we can of course adjust our collider here in this case we have a double wing so we can add two colliders for it something like this is perfect we can do the same with the other wing so easier to mods vehicle planes right wing notice that your wings are gonna be automatically assigned to your left detachable wing and right detachable wing properties in your root vehicle component and this should be close enough to our wings the last detachable part of our plane is our propeller so we can right click and choose easier to vehicle planes propeller for the propeller we don't want our collider to be the same exact size of the entire propeller but we just want a small box collider to detect the impact of the bullets and the impact of the propeller with other game objects something like this is good enough we want our plane to be able to roll on the airstrip so we can also select the wheels of our planes and choose easy red to mods vehicles wheels and we can either choose a simple wheel setup or the setup wheels menu as we have only three wheels so less than eight wheels we can go with the simple wheel setup so notice how we have three wheel colliders that we might want to adjust so let's fix the radius for this and let's move this a little bit up same with this one make sure that also the meshes has the pivot point in the center as they should notice that our wheels have been automatically set up in the braking wheels which are the list of the wheels that can break once the plane is braking on the airstrip after a landing so let's now move on with flaps in EasyRed 2 flaps are not mandatory to be set up on planes and they are just a visual thing but in real planes they are used to roll, steer and in general rotate your planes in the world so we got our flaps with our pivot in the position we want the flap to rotate we got one here, one here and one here normally planes also has one here but this plane is missing it so we are just gonna ignore it but you can set this up just like the other flaps we are setting up so to do so you can select all of your flaps and choose easier to mods vehicles planes make flap so this is gonna create these pivot positions for your flaps and you want to fix some settings here let's start by the flap here on the tail so here we got some values the important value here is the axis flap which is basically the kind of flap this will be you can set this to be 0, 1 or 2 meaning that you are using the parameter 0, 1 or 2 of your rotation array so notice how this flap rotates on the y axis which is the parameter 1 so you can set this to 1 here you got your left wing flap you want this to rotate on your x axis so you can leave the axis flap to 0 which is the first element of the rotation array 
this also rotates on the axis zero but this should rotate in the opposite direction of this flap because these two flaps are using for rolling the plane and when one of these flaps goes up the other one needs to go down so to have your flaps going in opposite direction you have to set one of the two flaps to have a rotation multiplier to be the opposite so instead of 45 you can set this to minus 45 one last thing to note on your flap is this axis direction value that should be set to 1 on the wings and 0 on the tail this is used to recognize what direction is influencing these flaps but there is not much you need to know just set this to 1 when you are on a wing and 0 when you are in a vertical tail flap in this flap here that again doesn't exist on this model as this is still a wing and is not a vertical flap it would be zero as well one last thing regarding flaps since you want your wing to be detachable in your plane you want of course your flap to follow the detached wing so make sure to set the flap field and drag and drop it inside the relative wing so flap pivot left inside wing left flap pivot back inside tail and flap pivot right inside wing right so when any of the wing detaches the flap corresponding to it is gonna stay attached to it next you can set up bombs to be droppable from your plane so first you might want to select where your bombs are located so they may be on the wing and in that case you have to select your wing because again the wing is detachable and you want your bomb to be part of the wing or they can be part of the body for example down here so to do so you can select for example in this case the wing and choose easier to mod vehicle plane make bomb bay so notice how a bomb bay has spawned inside your wing you can move the bomb bay on the position you want your bomb to spawn from for example here we also want a bomb to spawn from the right wing so we are gonna do the same And now that we got two bomb bays, we can go on the plane and notice how the bomb base array has now two elements. One for the first bomb on the left wing and one for the second bomb on the right wing. Here you can set what kind of bomb you want your plane to accept. You're gonna find the bomb types on the documentation string tables as always. If you want to remove a bomb bay, make sure to remove these elements from this array with this minus button here. And now to finalize our plane, let's set up an MG to it. So here we need a turret because every weapon in a vehicle uses turrets. Of course, in this case, it's not going to be a turret that can rotate, it's going to be a turret that just shoots straight forward. We don't have a turret mesh here so we're gonna create one so let's select our plane body for example and let's create an empty inside and let's call this mgs now let's right click on it and choose easier to mods vehicle turret mg Now here we got our MG turret, we don't want our MG turret to have any collider so we can remove this and also we can remove the relative vehicle damageable part. So here we got the fire position, we may want to have more than one, so for the moment let's for example place one here or maybe here on the top or whatever you want. And let's 
copy and paste this and place the second position here. So now if we select the turret MZ script, we can notice how we have our weapon MZ here and we got only one fire position but we want to have multiple fire positions so we can drag and drop both fire positions in the fire pose multi array here we can set up other informations regarding our weapon like the kind of ammunition it shoots again you will find them in the string table documentation here we are using mg42 belt with 300 ammo in the inventory this mg can shoot for example 1200 rounds per minute we can set the tracer ratio to one tracer every three bullets and other details like the sounds etc if you of course don't want your plane to use a scope sprite when aiming down side, you can remove the scope sprite. Make sure instead to set the scope position to the position where you want your camera to be when aiming down side. So here in the center should be good. This is the look position, which is the position where our camera is going to be placed when it's not aiming down side. If it's set to none, it will use the position of the soldier head, but in this case, we can just reuse the same position. So our camera will always be in this loop position, either if it's aiming or if it's not aiming. This is good in our case, because as we don't have a cabin interior, it's fine if our camera is always in this position. One other thing we want to set up here is the axis bond. So again, we don't want this turret being able to rotate, so we can just set all axis bond to zero, meaning that our turret is never going to rotate. So notice how now our turret is assigned here in the driver's seat, but you can also assign this turret to other seats if you want. I wouldn't suggest that because a turret that can only shoot straight is normally assigned to the seat of the driver of the plane but if you want to have a secondary turret like if you're setting up a bomber like plane you may want to assign this to another seat and of course you may want your turret being able to rotate just like a tank turret okay so this is everything so let's save our plane into a folder for example let's create this prefab folder and let's drag and drop the plane inside let's assign it to an asset bundle for example a new asset bundle called test plane we might need to save the scene with ctrl s let's just save this scene here for the moment we can now go in the mod menu make sure to have steam open choose your test plane asset bundle and let's start the upload so once the upload is done you can go on the steam workshop and subscribe to your test plane mod let's wait for the download in the meantime we can close the mod menu And once the download is done, we can start the game. Now that we are inside EasyRed 2, we could either go to the mission editor and use our plane in a custom mission, or just test it through the shooting range. So here we got the vehicle plane spawner on this object here. As you can see, we didn't set a correct icon, but we got a tutorial on how to create icon for your vehicles and items so as you can see we got the look position here on the front just like we set it on our turret we can shoot our mgs we can go on third person with t we can drive our plane on the airstrip
and as you can see everything is working correctly the flaps are working correctly the bombs are working correctly I can drop them with spacebar so as you can see also the parts the touches correctly we can correctly destroy every part of our plane so congratulations for create and destroy your first plane